Moving on to item number four, citizens opportunity to address the council on items not on the agenda. Open for items not on the agenda. Steve? Uh, yes, the business improvement committee would like to address the council. Yes. <coughs> for the new city entrance signs. Uh, this is a project that the Business Improvement Committee has been working on for the last couple of years on and off again. And uh, of course we've asked the city to help us with some funding on that. And uh, we want to bring that down so you can take a look at it. Um, what we're looking at is a sign, uh, the rock base on this side would be about 116 inches tall. There, there and about 146 inches wide. So, just to give you an idea, um, Hugh Sw Quinn Swander helped us with the design, and uh, I don't know how much information uh, you've had on this, but we thought that the city park and the Chautauqua building were a, a very significant part of the community. And, uh, I thought we'd feature that in my proposed sign. That's going to be either all maybe or maybe stone. Maybe maybe stone. Mason. Yes. Mason did. And uh, what we're doing is we're going for a look that matches the fountain. Uh, we're using a, a grant or hope to receive a grant from the Trees Forever program to assist with this um, with the funding. And then we also received some funny funding from the County Endowment Foundation. Um, Laura was suggesting when I visited with her. Uh, would you like to tie into this more, or is this what we were asking about? This is the logo that he has in his hand right now is the basic logo that Quentin Swanger came up with for use on the sign. But what we proposed was that this may be a possible new logo for the city to use for city stationery. Um, I know I had even Brian Menser spoke to me last week that the police officers were looking into some new badges that maybe, or patches, okay, to put on their uniforms, that they wanted to use this. So we thought we should come to the council and just <laughs> present the logo to you so that you could see what it looked like and possibly be able to implement that into your city stationery, city logo, anything that, I mean, he even mentioned putting it on the side of a new police car, if that would be in the works, so. Steve, what other kind of lighting will you have on that? Uh, there will be a flood light out in the front. Something. We're just uh, actually we were just talking about that. Whether it be <clears throat> this one, have, there's going to be some other landscaping done around it, um, but we would like to move forward with that and uh, get it on the schedule for later this year. So, but I just wanted to run that past the council and do you have any cost on that? On everything. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it's going to be right around, what would you say, 22, 23? 25 to 30. Something like over. that. Yeah. We're still working on final estimates on everything, but that was basically what we came up with. And that's for two signs. That's for two. For two signs, yeah. And locations are planning on being, we'll pick out the old ones. And if it works, um, we would like to perhaps use the old signs on would this be a two-faced or one? Just, just one side. Just one side. We'll still advertise it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
with the uh, Hoagies and the men's club is going to be donating a portion of those proceeds from that morning to the community signs. And so we'll be doing a few other fundraisers, but I think we'll be able to come up with the money for it. So. I think this is impressive. Yeah. And thank you both for your update on this. Anything else? Anyone else?